good news. Senate President finally arrested for compromising against Namdi Kanu's release with Justice Nyako. It don't happen. <laughs> it don't happen, my people. This is what we have been waiting for for a very long time. <laughs> I know that a lot of us will be saying, how come? When did it happen? And all of that. Of course, you need to ask questions. But I am telling you now, my dear listeners, that the Senate President Ahmed Lawal is one of the architects of Namdi Kanu's arrest. When he saw that despite the arrest of Namdi Kanu, the IPOP leader keep scaling through all charges levied against him, then he decided to compromise. He decided to compromise with um, with uh, the with Justice Nyako, the presiding officer of Mazi Namdi Kanu's trial. Now, this is where their end now comes. So, as it is now, the truth has finally been revealed as the UN has taken it up by ordering his immediate arrest. Of course, that is what they deserve. You understand? That is what they deserve. Let's quickly um, check the content, my dear listeners. This is Evening News. So painful as Senate President Amel Awan has been dragged to detention for questioning over the continual stay of Nnamdi Kanu in detention. According to an eyewitness who spoke in anonymity, he said that Ahmed Lawan has been the bone of contention and also the architect of Namdi Kanu's arrest. Though he has been playing a face-off for a very long time, but the truth finally has been dug out. According to the eyewitness, Ahmed Lawan has seen Namdi Kanu as a threat towards the 2023 election. He said that with Namdi Kanu in Nigeria or released, the 2023 election is going to be invalid and nothing reasonable will come out of it. He said that the fate of the Southeast still centers on the 2023 election. The best way to do that, he said, is to make sure Namdi Kanu remain in detention pending when 2023 election is over. For intervention's sake, the UN Secretary have ordered for the immediate arrest of Ahmed Lawan over conspiracy and plot to get Ahmed Kanu detained illegally. The UN Secretary have said that all these have been put into consideration knowing what the constitution of nigeria demands when one pleads not guilty of any count charges they claim that is it um you see that is a problem that is a problem uh, they know what the constitution says they know what the constitution says but they will intentionally turn it upside down or turn it the other way the other way that will favor them she understand now because they know that if the constitution is allowed to be the way it is know how Nam the Kanu will gain victory and he will be freed without blemish. Nam the Kanu's release, um, I don't think it's going to be unconditional anymore. 
or does it need to be unconditional? Nam Kanu deserves a pure release now, a genuine release, a clean release. You understand? That is what Nam Kanu need now. So I don't know what they are actually thinking or believing, but what I think is that um, Nam Kanu has actually defeated whatever the law or constitution of Nigerian has got to say in terms of justice. In terms of justice. And um, as regard that, he has also pleaded not guilty of all allegations levied against him as far the Nigerian law and constitution is concerned. So, the best thing to do for Nigerian to do now is to let the IPOP leader go according to the constitution, meet up with all the necessary um, uh, uh, promises, promises and compensation. Even if you know, the cousin says he doesn't want, they should still give it to him because he deserves that compensation. You understand? Yes, it's a debt that Nigerian we have to pay. It's a debt that Nigerian we have to pay, and I just it. All right, um, let's quickly um, get your opinion, and let's know what you equally think and what your take on this. Maybe don't forget your comments; they are still very, very, very important. Don't forget to leave them below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you